going. Society of Historical Swordsmanship. Hi, and I'm John with the Phoenix Society of Historical Swordsmanship. And what we're doing is our annual Streetlight USA uh, charity tournament. John, what is Streetlight USA? Streetlight USA is a local charity in Phoenix. They, uh, they provide a safe place to live for juvenile victims of human trafficking, uh, ages 8 to 18 in the residential, and they provide aftercare and counseling up to the age of 22. It's a phenomenal program. They take, they allow in girls from all around the tri-state area. Um, 
Last year we raised, thanks to our generous donors, our generous sponsors, uh, $4,700, uh, which was really greatly put to use. Um, they bought a uh, machine that kills bed bugs, and they also bought clothing gift cards for girls coming from foster care who had nothing. Had nothing. So now we're going to have uh, three events that take place in this tournament. First one is the single stick challenge. Yep, single stick, king of the hill. The longest continuous streak of wins is the winner. Last year, I think the winner had, I think, nine fights in a row where they won. Um, you can also, if you're coming with your friends, buy in champions we'll have on hand to ruin your friend's streak. That's right. That's right. Uh, the second event. The second event is a mixed uh, weapon event. So like with all the events that we're talking about right now, you buy lives and then you expend those lives. You have to get as many wins as possible in a row. Mixed weapon, we roll a dice and then you randomly get a weapon. So the choices might be could be Rondell versus Spear or Longsword versus Dusak or something along those lines. Yes. Yeah. It was a lot of fun last year. People seem to really enjoy it. Um, and then our special thing we're doing this year is called the STG Blades Martial Challenge since they're actually sponsoring it with the sword. Um, we're, it's going to try, we're trying to get as close to the feel of a historical duel. I think we get a little brave and a little reckless with all our gear. We want to create that sort of that tension of do not get hit by a sword uh, without taking our gear off potentially dying. Um, so the way this is going to work is it's going to be a single elimination tournament. So one hit, you're done. So if Richard and I are squared up in the first match and we just double each other, we are both out. Uh, the, uh, we'll have uh, GoPro cameras with instant replay. We'll have judges on scene. Uh, and like I said, we want this to be as close to the feeling of a duel as possible. And it'll be with long swords? Yep. And then steel long swords, will the swords be provided? It will be a sort of one and done tournament. Uh, the kicker is that there's a hundred dollar buy-in. Now, the uh, as with the other things, we've got enough people that are backing to cover the cost of one of the swords. Guards donate the other one. So we had, like, our club's paying for the first sword, so everybody who joins that hasn't already told me they are, every dollar of that goes to the charity. The winner of the tournament will get a steel long sword, the one they won with. Second place sword will be sold to the crowd because he just died. Um, everybody else gets a t-shirt. Everybody gets a t-shirt. If the last two guys get up there and double, my plan was to use the uh, angle grinder and cut them in half, and everybody gets shame prizes, but some people thought that made people angry. So what we're going to do is if both the last two guys double, they both died in the duel, and their swords get sold to the crowd to charity. Uh, we'll show, here's some videos of single stick, the mixed weapons. We really hope you can make it out. The uh, uh, registration information will be down below. Um, it's fifty dollars for an entire weekend. You can buy more lives, and we encourage you to. Uh, fifty bucks is pretty cheap for an event. Not bad at all. And you're helping charities, so we yeah. hope to see you. Hope to see you. Keep going. One more. 